Hello friends, you're welcome to Scratch Out with Prime. And today we're going to be still be talking about another wonderful blog. And thank you for all our returning subscribers. And if this is the first time you're joining us in this video, this is Scratch with Prime. And in this channel, we break down Scratch programming to the best you can ever understand. So if this video helped you, make sure you leave the like and subscribe to this channel and also leave a beautiful comment for us. And if there's something or you did not enjoy the video, also don't forget to leave a comment. Make your concern known to, known to us so we can be able to make a better video next time and meet your expectation. Okay, right now we're going to be talking about a wonderful motion block called the set rotation style. So this is a set rotation style. Now I click on it, but nothing is happening. Then why is it under the motion category? Oh, now the last time we talked about a block called if on edge bounce. Now if on edge bounce, as the name implied, is helps you whenever the sprite gets to the edge, it should bounce back. But look at I'm clicking on it, nothing happened. So the last time we, we had to add the move 10 steps to each, the move 10 step, we added it on top, but I need to increase my input to make it 20 steps so the movement will be faster. So remember, if I move, this is not, when I join the two of them together, so as I'm clicking on it, it will move 20 steps and it gets to it to bounce back. This is what happens. It's bouncing back, but by default, now look at what happened. By default, it's going normally. That is because the direction is set to left and right. So I'm going to, by default, this is where it's supposed to be, all round. So I set it to be all round. So when I click on it, by default, it's on all round. So this is what is going to happen. It's going to turn upside down. When I click, it gets to the end, it stays straight. When it gets to this other end, it will still turn upside down. And why is this happening? You see, this doesn't look nice. So the next thing we're going to do is, now, if we use this direction, if we use this left and right direction, it's going to be applied to everything, all the code we are going to drop here. And for example, if you don't want all the codes to have this, this left and right, you can bring out the set rotation style. Now, this set rotation style helps us to have all the rotation style, which is left, right, which these have. This is left, right. This is left, right rotation. And this is don't do not rotate which is here so if we just want only this code to have the left right rotation we can drop it here now this is what's going to happen now if before i join it you see what's what has been happening when it gets to the edge it turns upside down and it gets to this edge it stays straight now when i add this code it's not going to that won't happen it won't turn upside down this is left right direction so it is on left right so are you saying it? it's going to turn properly, it gets to the end, it turns properly, it gets to this other end, it turns properly. So that is the use of the set rotation style left, right. This helps you so your work whenever you're doing your sprite, it doesn't turn upside down. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to this channel and drop a wonderful comment for us and if you also have a suggestion of a video you would like us to make leave it in the comment section and we're going, we are going to meet your demand thank you the only way you're going to help us in the channel subscribe and like a video and if you know someone in need of our video share the video to them thank you and we will see you next time